what's on my lip and it's been there all this time. I swear, knowing my luck. <laughs> Go on. What's up guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Claudia Pereira. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. The look that I created today is this honeycomb bee look in inspiration because spring is coming up. The bees are going to be out. It's going to be hot and this cute little warm look just reminded me of that. So if you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up so that I know that you guys want more makeup content from me in the future. Without further ado, let's get into the Video. Yeah, so I've already moisturized off camera and everything like that so now I'm just going to put a foundation on and I'm going to be using the LA Girl Pro Coverage Foundation in the shade Nude Beige. Then I'm going to blend that all out with this cute little foundation brush. Okay, now that my foundation is done, I'm going to go in with concealer just to conceal my bags under my eyes because I have not slept in like years, but that's okay. We don't need to talk about that. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to be using the Allegro Pro Conceal in the shade Art Ivory. Then taking a beauty blender and blending that all out. And now we're also going to go back in with the concealer on our eyelids. Okay, I know it looks super scary, but for this look, now that our base is done, we're only going to be setting half of our face with powder. The reason that we're going to be doing this is because the eyeshadows that we're going to be using for the B look um, needs a sticky base to set on. So if we're going to set that with powder, it's not going to be as pigmented and as vibrant. So we're just going to pick a side of our face, mine's going to be my right side, and we're just going to set that in place with translucent powder. So now that we've put powder all over the right side of our face, it is now setting. What we're going to do is only bronze the right side of your face or the one side of your face that you're going to choose because this side's going to be all covered up by the design. So just bronze the one side of your face. Now that our right side is all bronzed up, we're now going to move on to baking and chiseling out those contours. So now that our face is baking, what we're going to do now is take a brown pencil. I'm using the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Brunette and just carve out where you're going to want those drips to be. So I'm going to have them all on the left side of my face, just coming right down under my eye and then just as my eyebrow finishes. And now we're going to sketch out the honeycomb on our forehead. Okay, so now if you're happy with how your honeycomb is looking, just go and outline that. Now we're just going to draw our little B. Alright, so now that everything's sketched out in place, what we're going to do is take a bronzer shade and just pack that on top here on our forehead, going into these drips by our eyebrows. Then after, we're going to do the honeycomb in yellow, as well as finish the whole eye with yellow eyeshadow and the drips falling down our face, almost as the honey. We're also going to be applying those shadows with a small little packing brush. Then take a blending brush with a lighter shade of brown and just blend out that edge. Okay, so now that our brown is all on, we're going to take a darker, cooler shade of brown just to further intensify the drips. Then we're just going to take a blending brush and blend out those harsh edges. So now what we're going to do is take a yellow shade and just pack that all in this area here above the whole eyelid 
in these strips by our nose as well as these down here. We're also going to take that same yellow shade that we put all over our face here and we're just going to pack that in the honeycomb. Also pack it in the bees. Okay, so now that that's done, we're going to take a small pencil brush and we're going to pack in the dark brown shade in between the little holes of the honeycomb as well as deepening out the edges of the honey. Now with that same yellow shade on a blending brush, we're just going to blend out the edges. Alright, so now on an angled brush, we're just going to take concealer and carve out the edges. Alright, so everything is carved out now. What we're going to do is move on to the two little bees that we have. What we're going to do is take some black liquid liner as well as some white liquid liner and we are going to roughly go around the bee, sketching it out with the black, adding in all the small little details and just adding the white for the wings. After our bees are done, we're just going to go in again with the white liquid liner just to highlight the honey. Then once again, taking the white liquid liner and just highlighting the honeycomb. Now with black liquid liner, what we're going to do is outline the outside of the honeycomb. Now that that's done, we're just going to add darker highlights to the brown drips with our black eyeliner. Thereafter, we're just going to take our black eyeliner once again and just add trade marks to our little bees. Alright, so once that's done, what we're going to do is just wipe away all of our bake just bronze up our jawline on our left side just a bit and then we're going to move on to highlighting and lashes and now we're just going to set our face with setting spray and then we're going to go in with highlighter all right now that our face is set in place what we're going to do is go in with the essence Olivia eyeshadow palette what i'm going to be using today is the gold shade in the palette as my highlighter step is mascara and lashes and we're going to go in with the essence get big lashes all right so mascara is done now i'm going to go off camera just to pop on a pair of falsies all right so now that our lashes are on i've just tight lined my lash line just so that it can blend the lashes in further now the last step what we're going to do is going in with a dark matte liquid lipstick just to tie the look in then we're going to set everything in place with some more setting spray. One last thing before everything is finished, we're going to go in with some clear eyebrow gel just to make our eyebrows super fluffy. And done! That is today's look complete. We have a cute little honeycomb bee makeup look. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for more makeup content, more vlogs more fitness videos whatever you guys request i'll make that for you thank you so much to everyone for taking time out of their day to watch my videos it really honestly means the absolute world to me and i am so excited to make further content in the future for you guys thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys very soon bye Wake me up.